Hello everybody, in uh, this section we're going to talk about some of the properties of limits and that you can find the sum, difference, product, or quotient of a limit. Um, the examples we're going to use is g and f. g and f are some unknown functions, but we do know that when you approach 7 with function g, it gets close to 4 on the y-axis, so that's the value of the limit for function g. Function f, as x approaches 7, it gets close to negative 2 on the y-axis. So we're just going to go through the four quick examples and show how um, we can combine and manipulate limits um, based on sums, differences, and so forth. Keep in mind these are only working, uh, if you notice all the examples, they are approaching the same number as we are given here. So this, it would, the same would pretty much hold true if you knew what function f and g were. Um, these properties would still hold true. Okay, so for number one, the limit as x approaches 7 of 2g plus 3f, well, it's exactly what you'd think it would be. 2 times the value of g plus 3 times the value of f at that same point. Okay, so this comes out to 8 minus 6. So the sum of these two limits would be 2. Now, here's something else we always say in calculus. Constants carry through. Notice this 2 pretty much carried through to the limit. The 3 carried through, and we ended up multiplying it. Constants carry through. Remember that. For number 2, um, we are actually raising uh, g to a power. We're taking g times itself 3 times. So 3 will carry through. And the value of g as we approach 7 is, in fact, 4, as we pointed out earlier. We're going to take 4 cubed and get 64. 64 times 3 is 192. Okay, for number 3 we have a difference. We're first going to multiply 5 times the value of the uh, limit as we approach f. So it would be 5 times negative 2. And then we're going to subtract 6 times 4. Alright, that's going to give us negative 10 minus 24. Negative 10 minus 24 is negative 34. Alright, in our last one we actually have a quotient. The limit as we approach g, g we said was 4. The limit as we approach f for number for as we get close to 7 was negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So there's just four quick examples to show how we can find sums, differences, products, or quotients of limits.